Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to the TBL Summer League Week 1 Battle. So we, today we are versing the Fancy Land Garbodors, or we did first the Fancy Land Garbodors, I should say, because I didn't have opportunity to record this video before um, or when I was battling. Uh, just an FYI, this battle isn't very good for me at all. Um, I was playing really poorly, I was playing absolutely terribly throughout most of it. Uh, and that is partly because I was just really busy that weekend, like everything just kind of came together at once, everything was happening over the, the same few hours, and yeah, hopefully you'll be all good, and we'll be all good. I am aware that I've got the old logo of the Suffolk Scum Tanks there, but hope, like I'll sort it out for next week, I'll sort it out for next week, um, it just requires me actually going in and editing on my software. Uh, which I don't actually have the original copy of this I don't think so I might have to create a new one But next week hopefully we will have something a bit better and I'm aware that this is dropping uh, This is kind of this is just dropping on this It's so hot that the blue tack is melting and that the Nothing is holding up. So I think that should hopefully stay still uh, This battle uh, t Shen is bringing the Mega Agron, the Shaman, the Greninja, Embor, Hydreigon and Ditto Pretty scared of the Ditto, I think I definitely, definitely underestimate Ditto whenever I see it, but um, the fact that they can Choice Scarf on top of my Charizard X is a very, very scary thing. Uh, Greninja is pretty scary, the only coverage I've really got is Bulu and Charizard, uh, kind of Durant as well, but Durant I realised I I wanted Hustle on it initially, and I changed it to Swarm, and then I changed to Hustle again, but I just didn't. I just, um, I wanted to change it back, back to Hustle, um, but, I don't know, I just couldn't make my mind up, and I think I made my, I thought I made my mind up to be Hustle, but I didn't make my mind up to be Hustle, and I made my mind up to be, uh, Swarm, and I just never changed it, so I think that was kind of the situation that happened there, uh, we are bringing, uh, what I put out in the Team Builder, which do go and check out if you would like to, it'll be linked in the description below. Okay, yes, let's get started. I Well, I, I think I was predicting the Agron lead, and I was like, you know what, I could just go Lando T and get my rocks up, so let's press play and see kind of how we can go. <laughs> so, here we go, starting off the battle, and my camera just keeps on falling down today. I don't had no issues yesterday, but it keeps on falling. Cloud Dog comes out, so Lando T lead, and the Agron does lead, and I'm here like, hmm... Hmm, do I Stealth Rock or do I Earthquake? And just on the off chance that it didn't decide to Earthquake, and they it, it, it didn't decide to Mega Evolve, I did click Earthquake in the end, so that did kind of come back to bite me in the bum a little bit later on. Um, so this turn I hit Earthquake, and we, oh, we see uh, it does absolutely nothing to him. Um, I'm a little bit ahead there, but it does. It only does about 25% there, 25 to 30%, uh, which I was expecting this to be quite defensively invested. Uh, we get the Stealth Rock set up on our team, which is pretty bad. Um, at this point, I do switch out Cloud Dog and go into Celeste. Um, I'm not quite sure why I decided to do this. Uh, I think maybe I was predicting Heavy Slam. I think Heavy Slam I could have dealt with. Uh, but then I get Dragon Tailed out, so honestly, this thing is already causing me issues. This thing is always already causing so many issues. And the Bulu gets dragged out, which is like the worst possible thing. Because this now has the Agron healing, which the Agron has no reliable recovery other than me now giving it the heals. So this was like the worst case scenario um, that I can think of. But I decided to switch Bulu straight out because Bulu wasn't going to take a heavy slam. Go heavy slam, go into his mic check because I know we can definitely take one. Um, and then he decides to withdraw Heavy Metal, so I was kind of confused as to why that happens. Uh, goes into the Shame in there. Not quite sure, maybe he was expecting, I don't know, Superpower, but Superpower wasn't doing much. So uh, we bring Mike Check back out, because I really want to save that for the Agron. And I go into Durant here, because I know Durant can basically take any hit this thing wants to give to me. Uh, I was half expecting a Toxic as well, because uh, I was expecting this thing to come specially defensively. I 100% expect to do special defensive. Uh, and then the Agron comes back in. At this point, I'm like, I'm going to make some safe plays. Uh, and I'm just going to hit X Scissor, I believe. Uh, I did just hit X Scissor, uh, which does a little bit of damage, not much. Uh, and obviously, we both get some health back this turn. Again, my webcam just is not playing ball today. Uh, let's hope that that's okay. 
Um, it just doesn't want to play. It's because it's very warm, I think, as well, because it's melting the blue tack that's on the wall. Uh, we go back into Meloetta here, probably seeing a Dragon Tail again, which is just the worst. It's just the worst. He's baiting out for the Charizard. So obviously, 50% damage on the Charizard. We do have Cloud Dog come in here, and I think I'm straight away like, I need to click Defog right this second. Um, I could have probably he clicked Earthquake, but I think he clicks Dragon Tail. Um, I predicted here we, here we click Dragon Tail, so at this point I'm just like, you know what, Defog, uh, get rid of these rocks. Honestly, they're going to be such an absolute pain. I think he clicks Dragon Tail here, he does click Dragon Tail here, and I think the Bulu comes back in again. Uh, and we do get the Rocky Helmet damage off on the Aggron there. No, Celeste comes in, which... So let's literally cannot touch this thing. I don't know why I didn't bother running foul play. Um, it was just a faux pas on my part. Like the more that I kind of got into this team, the less I really, really kind of wanted it. Um, and I wish here just because I expect to kind of get something, some health back on something. Um, not that I have got really anything that's that low at the minute. I think at this point I was thinking, oh, I'll go into uh, Meloetta, get that back up to full health, because then we can take another hit. Uh, at this point, half expecting the Stealth Rocks to come back up. Uh, and I'm also half expecting a Dragon Tail just to kind of get rid of me. Uh, but we do go into Mic Check here, which is our Meloetta. And I make another stupid play just a second. We do see the Stealth Rocks come back up. And I'm sat here and I'm like, you know what? I can live anything this wants to do to me. I am going to calm mind. I am going to calm mind right now and just be fine. And you know, it's just going to be relaxing and chilled. Um... Uh, did I calm mind? I can't actually remember if I calm mind it in the end. Uh, but this thing, oh, I'm pretty sure especially defensive. Pretty sure especially defensive. But at this point, I'm too worried that this has something that's going to hit me. I, I honestly don't want to get toxic. And I know this thing has toxic. Um, so I really don't want to get toxic. But I do stay in. Because I'm like, you know what? Screw it. We're going to stay in. I feel like I might calm mind again. I can't actually remember what I did. Um, I side shot. Uh, which does a great, I think it does about 60% damage, um, so, it, well, about 55% damage, so it's not too bad, and it does get switched out with the eject button, uh, which I always find kind of a weird, weird item to run, but it definitely worked here. Uh, we have got the M ball here, and I'm, I'm very much concerned that it's going to be um, faster than me, because I'm pretty sure it will be faster, and I can't leave anything it wants to do. I go into Cloud Dog here to um, get some ro Rocky Helmet damage off, and also to be able to defog and intimidate this mon just to get... And literally my webcam is dropping again. Like, it is terrible. You are literally... Uh, you're going to be seeing my crotch in a minute. Uh, but we do see a Flare Blitz here. That does a fair amount of damage. But do get a fair amount of recoil and the Rocky Helmet damage on top of that. Um, let's just push that in. Okay. Can you just stay still, please? Hopefully that stays still. If not, I'm just going to be uh, a little bit mad. But we defog here. To get rid of the rocks. It would have been really nice if I'd have predicted that switch and done an earthquake. Because honestly, two earthquakes probably would have taken this thing out of this range. At this point, I'm like, I know I want my um my rocks up. I probably should have earthquaked here, honestly. Um, I should have earthquaked before and then um after I did expect the rocks to come up. I wasn't sure if it was gonna have avalanche or ice punch, but I knew he'd have it on there somewhere. Um, I was thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna let Lando T go down. Uh, it's not really too much of a, a thing for me. And at this point, I'm like, the rocks are down, so I really need to get Charizard in. Uh, and I'm going to Mega Revolve here. I believe I Dragon Dance, because I was expecting a switch. Uh, so I do Dragon Dance here. I'm still a bit concerned about that Ditto coming in and getting a plus one off my Choice Scarf. Or a plus one Choice Scarf. Uh, but we see the Dragon Tail again, and I'm just like, I literally got baited again. Had I gone for Flare Blitz, this thing would have been gone. Like, this thing, I'm pretty sure, was gone. Um, and I just kept on setting up in front of its face. Like, I was an idiot in this match. I kept on getting baited, and it really, really worked against me. It, it just, I, I was being stupid. Um, I was distracted. And the Bulu comes in again. So, yeah, the Agron is now getting its heals. Uh, at this point, I'm like, I still want to conserve Bulu. Uh, conserve, yeah, conserve Bulu, because it can do a few bits and bobs. Expecting something... I really don't know where I went Celeste here. I think I went Celeste to Heal Bell. Um, I think my idea was to go Heal Bell here. Uh, that stops me from taking the toxic damage and also stops Meloetta from taking toxic damage because it's fine. And my webcam is shopping again. Oh dear. <clears throat> this is just a bunch of fun. I, um, 
So at this point I think I click Heal Bell just to get rid of the Toxics on me. Uh, we see Hydreigon come in and I'm here like, oh, I would really like to get a Toxic off on this thing. So I have Toxic on my set, really want to get a Toxic off. That's the first time I've ever seen Heal Bell. Like, actually, I think like, I obviously saw Heal Bell but I wasn't paying attention to it during the match because I was um, really distracted. I had like a lot going on at the same time. Uh, and my car was being fixed at that time as well. That's why I clicked Toxic here and it substitutes. And I was like, wow, I was not expecting a Sub Hydro again. Um, obviously expecting the Toxic there. Like, that was the perfect place to set up a Sub. So I'll, I'll give t and this dude there. That was a, a really good move. Coming to Bulu here because I'm pretty sure we can live anything this wants to do. Unless it has Fire Blast. And it taunts, which I'm not fussed with because I'm a Salt Vest. And I just have uh, attacking moves. Obviously expecting me there to go for... Um, kind of a wish to heal something else up uh, and at this point the grass goes down which is really unfortunate because I can now click um, Horn Leech and I just I, I, I got unlucky here as well because that went down and that means that my Horn Leech wasn't as powerful and I was calculating my Horn Leech to do 30 to 36 percent and it didn't break the sub and I was like oh my god this is so defensive and it freed me for the rest of the match um, just because of that uh, and then I I clicked Horn Leech again and I, I was just, I was mad because you'll see in just a second kind of how much damage I'd already done to this sub. Because uh, I get absolutely no health back to, back from this thing. Uh, absolutely no health is coming back from this thing. Uh, I get a critical hit as well just to, to add salt to the wound. I get a critical hit um, and we get like four health back. Like it is literally, I don't actually know the exact number. Um, why is my webcam being so annoying today? Let's just... Hopefully that will... Okay, can you please just stay still? <laughs> and then I'm here and I'm like, I'm gonna Mega Horn because that is the best thing to do against the High Dragon. Does very little damage against the Mega Aggron there. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay in a super power. I'm pretty sure an Avalanche is coming. Uh, I don't know if I can live it or not. Uh, without With the minus one defense, probably can't live it. And I have just give, doubled his power. So honestly, I was fine with Bula going down at this point. Uh, I really shouldn't have been. I really should have just gone, nope, I need to go into something else. I probably should have gone into Meloessa here and just done something. Obviously, wasn't going to click Dragon Tail whilst I was there as well. Um, Steve comes in. I'm thinking Steve can take this thing out with Super Power, um, which really kind of screws me over because I'm Choice Scarfed into Super Power now, uh, which obviously my attack and defense is now lowering. Uh, which is a little bit of a problem, a little bit of a problem <laughs> coming here, coming out to pork chop. And I know I can outspeed this thing, but my, my super power just wasn't doing anywhere near enough. Um, so I think I switch out into Celeste here, expecting a fire type attack. Uh, yes, I do switch into Celeste, expecting the fire type attack. Um, obviously, if you went for a fighting type attack here, then I think we lived it, but it was very dangerous. And the use of the head smash, I'm not sure if that would have taken Durant out. Uh, it probably would have, to be honest, but actually, I'm not sure it would have. I'm not, I didn't count head smash, but it does take a little bit of damage there. Uh, I think at this point, I'm considering wishing or protecting. Um, withdraws, he just withdraw. Um, and I'm not quite sure what I'm thinking here. Uh, I think at this point, I just kind of... Cut, I, I basically gave up. I've toxic here um, to get some damage off on the Shaman, and I'm like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna hopefully take Shaman down in a couple of turns. I can now like wish pass into something nicely. I can wish and heal myself up because keeping Umbreon was um, healthy was quite key. But yeah, I click wish here, I believe, and he clicks healing wish, which is just such a problem. Shaman kills itself, so I don't actually get the kill, um, and he goes into. Um, another one at the end of the turn. So we're going to wish here. We're going to heal ourselves back up. And that should be all chill. To get some leftovers recovery as well. And it goes into the High Dragon to heal it up. And I'm just like, hmm. I was expecting the Embor, but having the High Dragon here just, you know, is annoying. And I'm sat here like, you know what? I'm going to Toxic this thing because I can Toxic. And then all of a sudden... I was like, I forgot about Substitute. I actually forgot about Substitute, and I, I felt like such an imbecile after this. I felt terrible. I was like, I'm an idiot. I am literally the biggest idiot because I forgot about his Substitute. Uh, and at this point, I was just like, I don't really care about Umbreon. Um, so, do get a Focus Blast hit us there, which does do a great deal of damage. I think I wish again. It was a crit as well, so adding, adding Salt to the Wound as well. Um, I got a crit when it didn't matter, he got a crit when it probably did matter because 
Uh, that would have been a three hit kill on Umbreon rather than a two hit kill. Uh, even though I think it's, a t it's more than a two hit kill. But I go into Steve here because I was like, you know what, I think Steve can take a focus blast from this thing perfectly fine. Uh, and it does miss the focus blast. I was so debating going to Charizard at this point. I was like, hmm, I think he's going to focus blast and it could miss. So do I go into Charizard and try and get upper hand? Uh, but the thing with it having a sub up, I just couldn't do that. I just couldn't do that because he could take me out the next turn. Uh, so we do get rid of the sub on the Hydreigon. And it does use its all-out pummeling on me, uh, which I, I wasn't expecting it to be. Uh, I, was, I, I just wasn't expecting this at all. I was expecting a fire-type move to be on it. Uh, but he did take quite a while to think about this one. Um, I did. I think I jokingly said to myself, he's, he's thinking about using a Z-move on me, uh, which he did. I'm uh, not sure if we would have lived a Focus Blast or not, but we do unfortunately go down to this. I think it was it was going to do like 110 to 114% or something. Oh no, more than that. Like I think it did up to 116% damage or something. So I go into Charizard here because I'm like, this thing is now out. The only way I'm winning this game is if I click on... Um, click on, what's it called, click Dragon Dance, and the Ditto comes in, and I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity for Ditto to come in, actually, because we are now going to be equal, equal on our um, speed stat, and it's just going to be a speed tie, whoever wins the speed tie is going to win it, um, which, honestly, I was very, very nervous about, uh, and I, I was sat here, and I was like, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be a speed tie, we, we, whether we win or not, it's going to be a speed tie, and he decides to sack off the Embor and take the Ditto out, so when the Ditto comes back in, it's going to be faster than me. And I was just here feeling, you know, a little bit, a little bit disappointed. Just a little bit disappointed there. Um, and the Ditto comes back in, obviously, it's going to be having a plus one attack and plus two on speed now with its Choice Scarf. Um, so honestly, this thing, I'm just like, the game's done. At this point, I knew the game was done. Let Charizard get down. Charizard just wasn't really worth at this point. Um, Still have the Greninja, the uh, Ditto, and the Hydreigon in the back. Going to Meloetta here, because I did calc that I can live any hit. Um, so the Dragon Claw does take me down very low. But I do use my own all-out pummeling. And I do take out the Ditto there, uh, which I knew was going to cause me issue. I always underestimate Ditto. I always, I never have a way of dealing with it. Um, what would have been really good if I'd have kind of gone to Umbreon. Uh, but at that point, I didn't have any resistances or anything, so uh, it would have had to have either been an Umbreon Storm match, or it would have had to have been uh, kind of go into something else, maybe the Meloetta, but um, yeah, it would have been kind of just difficult to do. So we do take out the Ditto there. Uh, we do take the, 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 the Ditto, but at this point, I'm like, there's no way we, we win. They've still He's still got um, a pretty good health... Uh, Grin, uh, Hydreigon! Hydreigon has got a pretty good health Hydreigon, and he's got a uh, full health... Uh, Greninja Protein and Greninja just takes me out there like any attack that he was going to do uh, I'm not sure if it would have taken out Umbreon had uh, that crit have not happened. I probably would have got a Toxic off um, So I'm unsure if that crit mattered when it came to this point because I could have then Toxic stalled out uh, but I Don't know. I don't know. I didn't calc that in the end because I was like, you know what? I've lost I, I respect uh, that T-Shen played really well there uh, I made so many stupid mistakes, and I just wasn't prepped for the Mega Aggron, and that was the thing that really wore down my team in the end. Um, so honestly, I didn't deserve to win that at all. I would, I like, I wouldn't have felt comfortable winning it. I don't think um, I would have taken it, but I just, I just really kind of. I think the late game I kind of started to make up with my moves, but the early game of the Mega Aggron, I just really wasn't thinking straight, and I really was making so many mistakes. Uh, but next week, next week will be a good battle. Uh, we're versing. Uh, Bright Lovely Manbird, which he is topped of power rankings two weeks in a row. Um, his team is actually scary, but I think I've actually figured out some ways of dealing with it. Uh, we Basically, I have dropped Imponium and picked up Blastoise. Um, so, that's just a modification I want to go quickly over on the team uh, there, just to say that I'm no longer holding Imponium. I'm holding Blastoise. And, yeah, hopefully we're going to have a good time next week. It's going to be Gonna be a tough one, I think, but I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I think I might be able to do it. I'm either gonna be able to do it so I lose very low, 
or I win very low. I think it's it's not gonna it's gonna be a close match, is what I'm gonna say. I think it's gonna be a close match next week. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. I'm sorry for the post commentary that's not been very good and just my general lacklusterness in this battle because I just I I wasn't doing very well at all. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you soon.